What is up, you guys? I'm new here. Who does? I know. So I know that I have been like missing for a hot minute. I have been freaking kind of sick. My voice was like in and out. I think it was just overall me getting used to the schedule again, going back to clinicals, being back in a hospital setting, my immune system, you know, getting back together but we got it together okay i feel like it's been a very long time and i'm so sorry about that like it feel it feels kind of long and it's not even that really long but you know just a little bit long so just a little recap last week we did our first check off of this third semester we did uh c-spine and t-spine check off so i'm really excited about getting into the spine however it's a lot of um things to remember as far as the spine goes what's demonstrated on certain views or exams are different from you know the c-spine and t-spine versus the lumbar spine so just trying to get that stuff down packed for this exam uh february the 5th today is wednesday i don't know the 31st or something or 30th i don't know <laughs> So this semester, I have clinical two days out of the week. It's still Tuesday and Thursday, and I only come up to campus on Wednesdays, which is really nice. But um, on Wednesdays, I have, like, my positioning lecture and positioning lab that goes along with that. So, yeah, we are on the spine, ladies and gentlemen. So this semester, we were told that they're grading a little bit harder for um, our checkoffs. So like I said, last week was the C and T spine checkoff. I, got, I made a 97, so whoa, whoa. So what I got marked off on was shielding. I shielded the patient, but on my lateral T spine, I forgot to put the shield behind the patient. Damn. And I think like getting them perfectly in a true lateral, but in my opinion, I was true lateral sis. Like I was, but you know, but anyway, but I, but I do agree with the shield. Like I dead forgot the shield um, behind the patient or behind my partner or whatever, so to speak. So basically you're needing to shield on your laterals because it helps with scatter. It reduces scatter for a better image. So yeah. Don't forget to shield on your laterals, okay? On the spine behind the patient. I am actually about to probably head to the grocery, pick up my son from school, get the whole um, afternoon routine going. I do have a video coming up on that. I'll probably do that pretty soon for y'all. I need to get it together. I don't know, like... I'm getting things done, but as far as like the motivation scale, last semester it was at a 10, it was like a 9 or a 10 pretty much the whole way through, and then this semester we're at like a 6, 7, so give your girl some motivation in the comments, but we're doing it. That was just a quick update of what my schedule is looking like for this semester. I'm going to take you inside my planner as well. There's nothing too huge to it, but it's what, it's pretty much like what's helping me get things done on time and that nature so that really helps i'll also let you know about um some of my comps that i got down how far i have to go how many comps do i need all that good stuff so i'll see y'all later so i'm home this is the non-motivational lazy-ish i be talking about well rightfully so okay i've been up since i don't know six or something right now it is mm, 4 30 ish um my son's in his room watching tv and i just got him some food um but yeah right now i'm watching raven's house like <laughs> On Disney Plus some things just some things just don't change so I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit I'm about to make a cup of coffee actually I haven't had a cup today at all but I can feel it now that I need some extra mm -hmm. and tidy up around here in a little while and then i'll catch y'all back around dinner time take y'all inside my planner 
And yes, we're gonna go over some things tonight as far as the spine is concerned because I really need to get the ball rolling. That test is literally next week, Wednesday, a whole week from now, and I have not touched anything. I haven't touched anything. <laughs> I have not touched anything, y'all. Like, seriously, I just don't. Like, what what is going on? What is going on? Oh, my gosh. There is nothing like a good cup of joe. I'm sorry. Um, Some coffee deets. I um actually use the starbucks blonde blend um grounded coffee that you can get at walmart um it's really good that's the one we use i also popped a few drops of vanilla it's just delicious and i do some almond milk and some like raw sugar but today i had uh, like a tablespoon of like swing condensed milk and a few drops of um, vanilla and that's it it's really good it could be sweeter but i'm trying not to have my coffee too sweet right now i have peppermint going because i'm about to get up and get to vacuuming i'm watching the proud family right now <laughs> like what what is it? what is it with me what i don't know so while I'm taking this coffee break, let me take y'all into my planner real quick. So before I open this, don't get confused by the date. I'm actually recording this planner segment the 31st on Friday. But after the planner segment, it's going to go back to the 30th, which was Thursday. So if you see uh, my accomplishments or whatever written down from clinical that day, don't don't get confused and yeah right, let's get into this bad boy right now so right here i have my semester my third semester class schedule pretty much on mondays are just online my online class and tuesdays and thursdays are still clinical days wednesday is the only time i go up to campus and i have my lecture and my lab class here's like the monthly calendar right here i just put like important days like i started back this semester on the 15th you can put some top five things and like stuff like doctor's appointments anything special events birthdays stuff like that and some notes but it's pretty blank i'm getting started so it's gonna be pretty blank right now i'll do like a planner update i do plan on getting some like um stickers some planner stickers then it goes into some daily sections tuesday january 14th i comped on the ankle and patella i always put like accomplishments here off to the side on this day i comped my stretcher chest on this clinical day i comped uh, my knee routine so that was awesome and then in the notes section i just put general notes for the week like what i need to do to prepare for next next week or what i need to complete or continue to study for so that helps so I highlight my clinical days. That just helps it to pop a bit more and um, section it off even better for me. And then on this day, um, I went ahead and performed my hip routine. So it's not only important to write what you should do that day to plan out your studying. So it's just as important to list down your accomplishments as well as your to-do list. So that's how I've been keeping track. There's nothing spectacular to it. Again, I do hope for some... Um, some planner stickers just to make my mission boards pop a little bit more as the months go by i will do like a planner update if you like and i'll show you what stickers that i've gotten but for right now the main thing to grasp from this is to plan out each day according to what you want to study for what's coming up things like that and it's always important to check your planner daily um i definitely do and i keep it in my book bag I went ahead and took that test, ended up getting a 94.25, so I'm super thrilled about that. Great way to keep track of your progression and keep up with your comps and just have a personal record of your accomplishments at clinic so you can always have um, an extra paper trail of what you've comped or performed. So that's what you call a lazy weekend right there. Yeah, nothing. Mm -hmm. Important to pack 
your snacks at clinic. So I seriously need to get to cracking on studying so much so that I'm not going to vlog that part. Um, but if you're interested to see a breakdown of my studying process and like how I really drill and succeed in my um, in my courses, let me know down below that next up you would like to see um, my study routine. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. It's a whole, it's the entire next day. I didn't wanna make this vlog extra long. I just wanted to give you all a quick update of what's going on. And also like basically let y'all know what's expected of us in my program for a third semester student. Um, our last semester as freshmen, we're about to be seniors next semester. And I just wanna leave y'all with a little bit of advice. Don't stop, no matter what, you keep going. Things get harder before they get easier, but I promise you things will start to click. Um, you're gonna feel more and more confident as time goes by. Don't feel like you have to know everything right now. Um, I'm sending positive vibrations your way. I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you, thank you so much. We're growing, y'all. We are 600 plus in this gang gang. Yeah, so I'm about to do a test online right now and then get to cracking on some studying. You want to say bye? Bye to who? Hit the like button and subscribe. We love you. Bye. Bye.